What is up, math superstars? In this edition of Mr. Peterson Presents, we are talking about Objective 7.2 and talking about sequences. So we're going to be talking about different number patterns that you will see. So let's get some key information about sequences here. So a sequence is an ordered list of numbers with terms that follow the rule. So each number in the sequence is called a term. And then the rule, this is going to be the pattern that shows up that we're going to be seeing. So in our first type of sequence, we're talking about arithmetic sequences. So this is going to be the difference between any two consecutive terms in that this difference is always going to be the same. And so you can find the next term in the sequence by adding, I'm underlining some key things here, be helpful. We're adding the same number, either the positive number or the negative number, but we're adding the same number to the previous. So here's the way that this looks. So we're given this sequence here. So we have 8, 11, 14, 17, 20, and 23. And we have to figure out how did we go from 8 to 11? And that pattern has to be the same for going to 11 to 14, 14 to 17, and so on. So to go from 8 to 11, what we're going to be doing, let's go ahead and add 3. And then we can see this pattern take shape. 11 to 14, we're adding 3. 14 to 17, we're adding 3. 17 to 20, we're adding 3. 20 to 23, we're adding 3. And so we can say that in this sequence, the rule or the pattern, the way we would write this, we'd write this using n would be the last term in the sequence. And then we'd say plus 3. So what happens if we're given this type of sequence? 29, 23, 17, 11, 5, negative 1. So to go from 29 to 23, it's always going to be adding, but to get smaller, we're going to be adding a negative number. So we're going to be adding negative 6. I'll put that in parentheses. To go from 23 to 17, I'm going to be adding a negative 6. 17 to 11, I'm adding a negative 6. 15 to 11 to 5, sorry. I'm going to be adding negative 6. And from 5 to negative 1, I'm going to be adding a negative 6. So this rule would always be n. If I want to figure out what the next number is, I'm going to be adding a negative 6. So the next term, if I did negative 1 plus negative 6, I'd get negative 7. So this would this, these are two examples of arithmetic sequences. And so another way we could call an arithmetic sequence the difference between two consecutive numbers. So it's the difference between any two consecutive numbers in an arithmetic sequence. This is also called the common difference. So this is just the difference between any two consecutive numbers. When we add either the positive or the negative, we're figuring out the common difference of this arithmetic sequence. So now let's talk about geometric sequences. So this is figuring out, it's like the quotient of any two consecutive terms is the same. And so you can find the next term in the sequence by multiplying the previous term by the same number. And for multiplying, we're either dealing with whole numbers or fractions. And this is going to be to the previous term. Let's go see how it looks. So we're given the sequence. 3, 6, 12, 24, 48. So we realize that arithmetic won't work. So if we added 3, so if we tried an arithmetic sequence, if we added 3, we would say that 6, we'd have to add 3. 6 plus 3 does not equal 12. So we can say that the arithmetic sequence doesn't work. We can say that the geometric one would work. Let's try it. So 3 be times 2 would give me 6. 6 times 2 gives me 12. 12 
times 2 gives me 24. And 24 times 2 gives me 48. So we can say that the rule for this would be n times 2 to get the next term in the sequence. But what happens if it looks like this? We have 4, 2, 1, 1 half, and 1 fourth. And so to go 4 to 2, I'm going to be multiplying. And numbers are getting smaller, so I'm going to have to multiply by a fraction, 1 half. 2 to 1, I'm going to be multiplying by 1 half. 1 to 1 half, I'm going to be multiplying by 1 half. And 1 half to 1 fourth, I'm multiplying to 1 half. And if you go, Miss Pearson, how'd you get that? Because it's not really working out in my head. I'll do the first one, 4 over 1 times 1 over 2 gives me 4 over 2, which simplifies to 2. So you kind of see you got to do some fraction multiplication here to get to the next one. So we can say that the rule for this would be, you can either write it as n times 1 half, or another way you can write this rule would be n over 2. So you're probably going to see this format more. So to get from the, to get to the next number, so if I did times 1 half, to get to my next number in the sequence, my next number sequence would be 1 eighth. And so n times 1 half. So the factor between any two consecutive terms in a geometric sequence. So we're just talking about some key vocabulary phrases. We're talking about this one's going to be the common ratio.